All right, everyone, here is another Jurassic World construction update at Universal Studios Hollywood. We're also going to take a look at construction for Super Nintendo World and the Secret Life of Pets ride. Starting things off, as you may have noticed, the park is actively testing Jurassic World. They were cycling boats nonstop during this visit. It was so exciting that crowds of guests would gather on the Starway escalators to watch. Behind the walls near the splashdown, we got some mesh frames for rock work that'll be placed around the area. It looks like they might attach these rocks to the edges of the planters they built in the center to match the current brown ones in the surrounding area. The poles on the Jurassic Outfitter store had been wrapped in plastic and the signage for the store still remains. Not sure if they plan on changing the name for the store, but if they were going to change it, they would have removed the Outfitter's sign long ago. The park also installed this palm tree and it's placed in the newly constructed planter to the left of the archway. The leaves are tied back so it doesn't get in the way of the arch scaffolding. On the second story of the Outfitter's store, there are two white walls sitting up there. I'm not sure what these are for, but it doesn't appear to be anything permanent. I wonder what the park has in store for this upper area. Will they bring back the restaurant or keep it as an extra seating area? Back at the new Raptor Encounter building, they have covered up the sides with sheathing. We also have an even better idea of how this new Raptor Encounter will work. There are two large doors on the front here and two tiny rectangular holes on the left side. Those two large doors are really puzzling. Could that mean there will be two different dinosaurs to meet? Anyways, right above that is the empty black bars that have been untouched for a couple of weeks. We still don't know what for sure what these will be for, but it's most likely going to be a sign. No noticeable work has been done to the archway since the last update, and the rest of the area looks pretty much the same. There was this big yellow crane sitting in the back by the final show building. The park is probably still in the process of loading new ride pieces throughout. This could be animatronics, trees, props, and more. They are nearing the summer time frame, and I'm sure the park wants to have this open by the end of June. It's crazy how much progress they've made in seven months. Speaking of progress, over at the Super Nintendo World construction site, the park has made some significant movements. At first, it doesn't look like much has changed from the video, but if you look closely, they've installed many things that are forgotten about, like electrical, gas, and sewer lines. What's visibly new are these green supports found behind the green fence. This whole section in general is new and looks like it could be another elevator system or something entirely different. They haven't added any more staircases to the site like the two found on opposite sides of each other. And over here is the progress on the new Transformers Extended Queue. The concrete walkway is finished and the park has added these gray walls to differentiate between the maintenance staircase alongside the building and the queue. On the studio tour, we can see that the brand new first show building is nearing completion. The first turnaround with the green tarp covering it is still open. I wonder how they plan on covering this scene because that's where the boats are stored off track for maintenance, like the one sitting out here. On the original Jurassic Park ride, it was just a door that matched the one guests went through to see the Ultrasauruses. Coming down a little bit further is the opening where we can get a look at the queue. From here, there are no massive changes. The only thing that will probably be different is new flat screen TVs above your head, lighting changes, and a few themed elements placed around the line. Heading down a little further is the construction on the brand new building right up alongside the Jurassic World queue. This is the same building that was featured on the last update and from here we can see multiple openings on this side of the building. We don't know whether this building will be for Nintendo, Jurassic World, the Dino Play area, or just a maintenance building. Traveling even further down, we have some interesting things to point out for Nintendo World, such as this portion being much higher up than the right side. The layout of this new area is very unique, and it will be interesting to see how it develops over the coming months. And here's another look at the two staircases that were built a couple weeks ago. These just appear to be emergency exits for the land, or if the elevators break. Finally, here is a quick look at the Secret Life of Pets ride, and as you can see, nothing much has changed since the last update, other than covering the sides with sheathing. Well, that's just about it for this Universal Studios Hollywood construction update. We are so close to the opening of Jurassic World The Ride, as the park is working at a rapid pace to finish things up. 
Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more updates from Southern California theme parks.